Today we'll be walking through a demo of how the prior authorization process can be automated leveraging UiPath RPA. Typically, the process begins when a prescription or procedure is submitted into an order entry system. The nurse or admin then identifies the patient and his or her insurance provider and needs to validate whether or not a prior authorization is required for the requested prescription or procedure. This typically involves the nurse or admin accessing the insurance provider's online portal and browsing a list of prescriptions and procedures to determine whether the prior authorization is required. If it is determined that a prior authorization is required, the nurse or admin will begin collecting the required patient information from various healthcare provider systems to populate the prior authorization request form. Once completed, the prior authorization form is submitted and routed to the insurance provider. This process is repetitive and cumbersome with a great deal of swivel chair data entry involved for the nurse or admin. Let's take a look at how automation can help remove the manual data entry and speed up the prior authorization process. To begin, the bot logs into the EMR and reviews the first patient and the requested prescription. The bot then logs into the insurance provider's online portal and reviews the list of prescriptions to determine if a prior authorization is required. As we can see, a prior authorization is required for the first request, so the bot begins populating the prescription drug prior authorization form with patient data from the EMR before submitting it. Once completed, the bot navigates back to the EMR and checks the next patient and requested prescription. It then returns to the list of prescriptions and determines that the requested prescription does not require a prior authorization. The bot notifies the nurse or admin and then moves on to the next patient. Once again, the bot determines that this patient's requested prescription does not require a prior authorization and moves on to the next patient in the queue. The bot returns to the EMR and checks the final patient and requested prescription. It looks like this one does require a prior authorization. The bot navigates back to the prior authorization request form and populates it with all the patient data before submitting it. If you have any questions regarding the potential of automation or would like to discuss this use case more in depth, get in contact today.